Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Reviews video and to Grand Arena 5v5. This is the first round of week 2 in season 32. Unfortunately we did miss the last round of 5v5 in uh, week 1 because I was ill. So I'm hoping that I'll be okay now to uh, get a good recording done without you having to listen to me sniffle and cough the whole way through. So we should be good to go on that front. So we're obviously starting at 3664. I'm hoping we'll be able to get up to 3750 assuming that some of our battles will go okay may possibly lose one but normally it obviously depends on how my fights against LV goes so my opponent today is called Jebesty they're from the guild Legacy of Titan and they have 9.6 million GP as well which is pretty similar to what I have uh, so this should be a good fight and they have already st started to attack me so let's go take a look at, at the board <laughs> So as you can see, my opponent has cleared both front zones, hasn't bothered to attack fleets yet and has dropped one fight against my Malgus in the back. Not sure what their plan is for the rest of the board and whether they're going to keep attacking or not. But they did end up dropping a couple of fights on my LV and then one fight on my Starkiller squad. Then I also set JMK on defense for the first time I think ever. Um, I put him up north and he got a hole for me so I'm quite glad that I made that decision and obviously everyone else got one shot so I'm not too sure what my opponent's plan is whether they're just waiting for me to attack then uh, and then they'll decide what they're going to do but anyway we'll jump into our attacking of their defense so as you can see from the previews we do have an LV and JMK to be ourselves as well as a Gas and Treya that Treya is a, star, a very odd star color squad but as always, with what we do at the moment is we just need to kill the LV first. So I have been practicing some counters before the lock, um, just trying to get my LV counters sorted out because obviously Fennec and Bound was just not working and just whatever I tried to clean up just wasn't working either. So I'm hoping that I've got maybe a one, one to two shot uh, counter, obviously starting with Ray Dash, that would be the plan and then if that fails, we can then use Fennec and Bam to for clean up a lone LV because that is normally what happens. It's just LV left at the end. So as you can see from that LV squad, they do have a level nine day coin as you expect. We're gaining accuracy up and evasion down. Also reducing cooldowns with debuffs, and it is the uh, health and protection per relic amplifier. So this is a very tanky LV. Uh, is relic nine, and I think it'll have a ridiculous health pool. I think it's got like 220k protection Ooh. 104k health 237k protection and it's not like 11k physical offense so it's a, a very good lv so we're gonna have a work cut up but on it but anyway we will start off with our first counter which will be ray with dash okay so they'll start as expected then we get to go i'll show my data coin quickly though this data coin i'm taking with me Nothing too crazy. All right, so throw an AOE first. And we'll stun the Royal Guard. Give Lifeblood to Dash. And we'll just basic. And we'll basic again because it does more damage. AOE. Basic. Basic again. Do an ult, uh, no, an ult, uh, taunt, sorry. <laughs> I just had ult in my head because I saw the full charge. Right, we're actually going to keep our ult on Ray for a little bit. Um, just because I don't want to get stuck with them doing so much damage to me um, through obviously LV being stuck, uh, constantly applying ability block because of his AoE. Now we won't have our. Uh, heals available that is why I'm going to keep hold of it for a little bit let's come all well, I'll pop the ult now I think I was hoping we were going to get defense down before popping the ult that's a bit annoying but take it Oh, 
come on. <laughs> so stupid. Right, lifeblood to dash. If we're able to heal with um, L3 when it's her turn. Or not. Okay, it's quite annoying that Quills died. Run AoE for defense down. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to two shot this, hopefully. Wow, they might have healing that just did. He's back to full health. <laughs> and we're dead. Okay. Alright, clean up time. Alright, Fennec and Bam's time to shine. Contract at least so we can start uh, getting some armor shreds. It will do one more stack of armor shreds, and then we're just going to go for kicks straight afterwards now. Turns it right, one, eh? Yes, you're brilliant, LV. Thank you. But you're dead, also. For 43. Okay, so now that LV is out of the way, we can start to deal with the rest of the board. So I'm going to obviously go down south and deal with them. So as you can see, we do have a JMK and gas there. As well as a JTR with a Ben Solo. But that Ben Solo Omicron is uh, completely ineffective here because it is the forced I had one, which is only useful with uh, Galactic Legend Ray. So that isn't uh, going to be applied here, unfortunately, for my opponent. So that should be relatively simple, I'm hoping. Obviously, it's not the best modded either. So we also have a JMK, like I mentioned, a gas and a CLS squad. So my plan for this war was to use a um, C versus JMK. That would be C with full Sith because I have the um, the all Sith ability thing where they, he gets like starting ult or something like that. Um, and then the gas we we're probably going to mirror. Uh, and then the CLS we were going to use Iden. And then the JTR, I'm not really too sure what I was going to be doing for that team yet. And um, we'll come to that after we've dealt with the other teams, I think. And uh, I'll just run through a, uh, what the counter I use when I actually get to that point. So we do have two Datacrons in this wall. Uh, level 3 Datacron on JTR, which is uh, recovering health and protection when they start with fewer buffs, with a bit of extra resistance and a special crit chance. And JMK also has a level 3 Datacron with... Uh, 
getting into nasty up and they have a crazy amount of resistance 84 percent resistance which is nuts okay so just before we jump into this fight i just did want to explain why i'm running this team and the reasons behind why i think this will work um so obviously the data coin that the jmk does have is 84 percent resistance so a lot of this team does deal special damage especially sith eternal um, so that might be quite annoying initially for the start of the fight but once he goes into his ultimate and is able to uh, use his better basic which does more damage it can't be evaded so luckily we'll still be able to do damage to the team and obviously the big uh, ultimate ability the lightning uh, can't be evaded or anything like that that is just a guaranteed uh, insta kill essentially so the only annoying thing here that might actually happen is that Savage gets annihilated by Cat uh, because with his Omicron he does have a um, taunt. But I'm hoping that if the JMK uh, AI does play it how I think it might, I'm hoping that he'll obviously use Hello there onto Cat, which will call cool, uh, Ahsoka to assist and someone else to assist because of his leadership or unique ability. So that will get rid of the resilient defense that is the, the taunt on Savage uh, to obviously make him lose it. So then hopefully that opens up the board to a cat to leap someone else completely random. Um, but obviously with the data crime that we have, we will be starting with 80% ult charge. So we will be able to um, get our ult super quick and just delete um, both cats and probably mace to begin with. We might even try and see if we can go for um padme but we'll obviously see what how it opens up on the board but anyway we'll just jump straight into the fight and see how we, uh, this goes for us okay that isn't how i thought it was gonna go and i can't even link out damn it <laughs> okay goodbye smudge <laughs> right now i get to link <laughs> What an awful start. <laughs> that is not how I thought it was going to go at all. Go straight for C and I get ability blocked off the bat. Brilliant. Yeah, all right, chill. At least we'll be able to go do this and go straight into our uh, big hit. There we go. Link up you and we'll link up Ahsoka. This is where we'll probably lose. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to get to our second hit. Oh, we popped Saviour. Brilliant really gonna help us ah oh, come on are you kidding <laughs> one turn oh man right it's just a relink what the hell yeah all right well, at least we can gas this now we have to do something else for gas Oh, I can't believe that C counter didn't work out as I thought it would. What are the chances of C getting ability blocked right at the beginning? I was kind of, kind of hoping the AI was a bit stupid. Uh, a bit less intelligent than I thought it was. How is he charging his ult so fast? Right. To kill Padme first. Okay, we're gonna sit down now. 
Don't you leave fives. No. Don't go after fives. Leave him alone. Right. Goodbye, Padme. Goodbye, Ahsoka. Let's form up. JMK down with 37. Alright, so we're going to give JML a go against um, Gas here. With kind of like leftover, more like leftover Jedi, but not an optimal team, I suppose. Fives. Let's go after Rex now. You can call in JML. And we can go to Alt. Gas boy stand up. Buffs again. Oh, they seal up JML. Start going after gas again to get him sat down. Just tell me to what you do, that's brilliant. Alright, get him sat down again. All on his own. Dace him again. Red the buffs. And I guess just do this to finish. 464? Yep, yeah, very nice. Right, now item VCLS. I'm gonna go. Or Chewie. Um, do I want to do an AOE? Yeah, I'll do an AOE. Increase everyone's cooldowns that we can. I'm about to get a cleanse anyway with Iden. Do a basic, no AOE there. And I'll do a cleanse. Stomp your feet. We will put death mark on to Chupio. No threading me out. See if we can stun Commander Luke and that probably kill off Han in the back. Oh, I completely missed him. But that will be a 65 banners. And for JTR, I've decided to just go with the rest of the troopers I had. So this should hopefully go okay. Right, we'll go all in on Riz's hero Finn and kill him. And we'll get crit damage immunity on everyone. And I want to say throw an AoE. Let's throw an AoE. Please kill off Poe so they get fear. Nice. Alright, let's trigger that fear on Resistant Ray Jedi Trainer. We can kill Ben. Now we can kill JTR, or not, because you'll dodge it. And then just kill Holdo for maximum banners. And now we can see what's in the south. Okay, so we have made it onto the south wall, and we've been quite fortunate that there aren't any hidden jails in the back. There is a Boba, a Fifth Brother Inquisitor's team, and a Mon Mothma squad. But we are going to start here, we're going to start off in the north, just to make sure that we get to ships. So we'll start there. So I'll quickly go over the wall for that zone 
as you can see, we have a try and Amalgus to beat still. So my plan was to use SLKR with uh, Nice Sisters versus Malgus because it is the day, um, the cooldown reduction one. And then the Tri uh, uh, Starkiller squad, I'm not really too sure what to use here. I kind of feel like um, GGH will still be able to do their job against this team. Um, and then for the GGA itself, we're probably going to use a Basta lead or JKR lead Jedi squad um, just to keep things simple. So we'll probably start off with the Malgus and I'll quickly go over the Datacrons. So Trey has a level 6 Datacron. We're stacking crit damage whenever they hit someone for more than 4 times. With physical accuracy, special accuracy and 13% dodge. And Malgus of course has a level 9 Datacron with uh, gaining health and protection back, recovering protection and uh, resetting their cooldowns. With a bunch of other crazy stats, uh, resistance, special damage, special crit chance, physical crit chance and 82% armor. So we will start here. Okay, so I have brought in what for a bit of extra security, so I'm going to give shield tech over to SLKR and we'll be able to poke Malgus. And we can give bed pack to darker. We're stunned by direct lands, which it didn't. Hey, we get a torn back up. Uh, right, let's go for Bast Bastler now. <sighs> Come on, zombie, we need you taunting. This is not helping. <laughs> Let's siphon. Didn't even kill off Basila. There we go, that's what we want need you to do. No, that's not what we want. Let's kill Bastler, please. Or not. There goes Bastler. Um, see if we can hit Revan out of here. Nope. It is equalization. Shock is annoying, but I'm going to have to that. Alright, just going to ultimate. I thought it could just basic there with Darker to be honest, but wait for the um, shock to drop off. It's not actually going after the zombie now. I right, just siphon now. Now we can heal up. And we brought what back? Good. Um so we will give medpack back to Ducker. Siphoning. That's all basic, I guess. Do a poke on Malgus. 200k. Too shabby. Into ult again. Almost killed him. One more hit should kill him. Hopefully. And poke to finish. Nope. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll just basic you then. Okay, or not. <laughs> hey, there we go. 463, I'll take that, that's pretty good. I'll, obviously we had what left over because we didn't need to use him with C, which is good. Um, obviously a bit more security there. Okay, now GG8 versus this Trio squad. Okay, we've got no target lock, which is unfortunate. Get target lock there. Bunch of target locks everywhere else, that's good. All right, keep hitting target locks. Go after. Who do we even go after first? I have no idea. Go after Treya? I, I don't really know. Go after Treya first, I guess. 
Um, AoE to hit more target locks. Basic Visus. Mm. I didn't think about um, GK being annoying, but to all basic here, get no target lock. <laughs> of course. Um, we're going to come down to GG on his own. Right, let's kill Starkiller if we can. Nope. Uh, AWE, take those target locks. Kill Starkiller, good. Yeah, wow, this actually does pretty well against GG8. Um, oh, we did kill. That's good. I don't know if we're going to get through everything else, but we'll give it a go. Maybe. On you, please. Oh, we'll kill him. There we go. 51 banners, I'll take that. Um, that is definitely not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Obviously, the B1 constantly assisting with uh, Treya's uh, lead obviously kills them off pretty quick, and BB8 counters as well, so everyone died quite quickly. Uh, compared to what I thought we'd, they were going to do, so um, at least it's doable, but not great banners as it is against the normal Palpatine, Mara, Dark Killer team. Okay, just because we don't have Jolie available, I am taking um, Bastila lead. The reason I kept this squad back was because I saw my opponent put SLK on defense, so I kept obviously my SLK counter to beat that, but obviously there isn't one there, so we can use them here. So we're going to mark and kill B2 straight away, I think. That's the best idea. Do it. Ability block, which is good. Right, give Master Training over to Luke. And we'll go for a stun. Which is good. Pass the bus over to Luke. Kill B2. Now we can... Uh, now nah, it's just basic B1. And we'll get torn up on Ben. Uh, no, it's basic here. I could have to be one now. Just trying to take, let Chi take as little turns as possible. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm trying to recycle back to getting my direct focus back on um, Jedi Revan so I can mark GG next and try and get rid of those stacks on. B1. Okay, we're going to have to kill BB-8 here, unfortunately. Because of that annoying taunt. Okay, now that is frame marked on. Damn. Right, now we can go after Grievous. If B1 doesn't heal him up too much, or he heals Magna Guard instead, that's even better. Let's give Master Training over to Jedi Revan to kill GG. I'll pass down over to the Hermit so we can do a big heal. Make sure we stay above that uh, bonus protection threshold. Now Magna Guard will die. We can basic B1. for an extra heal. Kill B1 for what should be 65 hopefully. Yep it is. So that takes us onto ships at least and now we can deal with the south zone. So as you can see from the current standings we are winning by 21 banners. Um, I don't know whether my opponent's going to keep attacking. I'm assuming they will. I don't understand why they wouldn't. Um, so we are going to keep attacking in the south. In the fleet zone we do have a negotiator, an executor and a malevolence to beat. So we do have a bit of a tough zone there, but hopefully we have enough counters to beat all of that. But we will obviously start in the south first, get the ground zones out of the way and done with. So as you can see, obviously, and you know already that we have a Boba and a 5th uh, Brother Squad and a Mon Mothma. So my plan was to use Wampa versus Mon Mothma and Bad Batch versus the 5th Brother Squad. 
And then for the Boba Zam team, I was going to have a bit of fun with it. Um, use a Ever Palpatine, like Tarkin, uh, Vader squad just to have a bit of uh, a, a bit of cheesy fun, I guess. <laughs> um, but the Datacrons on the team, so obviously Fifth Brother has a level 6 Datacron. With the recovering health and protection, or just recovering health uh, whenever they damage by uh, health damage effects. And whenever they target someone, they gain bonus stats, uh, deflection, armor, penetration, and special accuracy. And then the Boba Zam squad has a level 3 Datacron with uh, gaining tenacity up. They gain protection up stacking for two turns with a bit of extra resistance and physical quick chance. But anyway, we shall probably start off with the fifth brother team and use Bad Batch first there. Okay, so I have taken in uh, Mega just for the uh, pre taunt on Wrecker. Gonna go for a stun. Stun on fifth brother, unfortunately. Or I get stunned now. There we go. Let's pass this one over to Echo, and we can go... Where do we go all in first? I'm going to be weakest. Let's go after... Seventh Sister first. She gains 10 meter. And we'll do whatever this does. Need to learn to make kit before, obviously, the new Lancer TV. Uh, comes around because I did put Omicron on my uh, PVE account. That'd be interesting. See, this one's only gear 8 or gear 9 or whatever she is. So, nothing too crazy there. <laughs> uh, kill off Ninth Sister. And we'll kill off Eighth Brother. And kill off Fifth Brother. For maximum banners. For 64, uh, 68, yeah, 68. Okay, stun Django. Oh, we could just get a loop with um, Mara going constantly. <laughs> right, now we'll trigger the staggers. <laughs> right, now we'll leave it. Anything's too quick. I right, passed turn over to Arkin. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to do anything, but it might stack up his potency enough. But he does gain potency from this ability, doesn't he? Oh. Okay, maybe not. We'll just use it now then. I thought he gained potency for that, that was obviously not bad. Unless it's from his unique, which I didn't even check. This should be relatively straightforward, they haven't even taken the turn yet. Oh, go on then, Mara, you seem to want to do everything. Keep throwing the need. What happened there? Mara, he didn't get you go. I was meant to check his kit. That's so annoying. <laughs> right, pass turn back to you because I want to check your kit. Oh, okay, it's only per debuff. Okay, it's not every time he applies debuffs. Yeah, so you need PX for that uh, cheesy target thing. But at least we can have a bit of fun with that. War 63. And last but not least, we have fleets. So as I mentioned before, we do have a Executor, a Negotiator, and a Malevolence to beat. And I do have both my Executor and Profanity on offense, so my plan was to use Profanity obviously against the Executor, and I was going to use Executor versus Negotiator, and then Malevolence I'm going to struggle a bit with because the only really options I have are First Order or um, a Malevolence Mirror, so I don't really know what I'll probably start off with there, um, but we'll obviously get to that point when we get there. 
so we'll probably start off with the executor like we normally do and we'll jump straight in with profundity okay right special first now we've got to kill you Zandu oh, blood dead. Well, no point taking this protection off. Okay, it doesn't matter taking off thing either. <laughs> uh, it's calling Cassian. Spell the e boss off uh, Falcon. Now we can wiggle. Now let's kill off IG. Please. Okay, good. We will call, yeah, call an outrider to assist on the house tooth. Basic razor crest. And again. Over effect. Ghost now. Call it an to assist. Uh, to get Tassie down with you, that'll kill you at least from the assist. Alright, let's just do a basic. I've got to do shield disruption. Do the special ability. Do a wiggle. We should be able to steal the capital next, yep. I executor. Right, AWE. Here goes Razor Crest. Man, I love these profanity versus executor fights, they're so easy. I just only a four star profanity as well. If you don't have profanity, I'd highly recommend going for it, especially if you're facing uh, executor a lot. It is very much worth it, even with the R9 uh, investment. And that's for 67 banners, so I'll take that, that's pretty good. Better than what you used to get anyway. So I've changed my mind a little bit. I thought it'd be easier to run Malevolence versus Negotiator. Um, but how that'll actually play out, I have no idea. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, oh please kill Watch Droid. Yes, okay, that's good. Alright, give that to Hyena, that cleanse some fact. Now we can go all in on. Jenna Anakin. Okay, or not. Uh, stun, I guess. Ah, oh, had to be plowed, didn't it? Right, please land on Anakin. Please, please, please. Yes! Our G gods are with me today. That makes this counter so much easier once Anakin is dead. Okay. We didn't see that dodge. Nothing happened. We didn't see anything. It's going perfectly fine. Soka, nailed it. Oh, let's just kill fires off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should have done that either because he's you're going to give her attribution now, aren't you? Uh, let's, uh, let's give it to me to spy. 
Ahsoka, and then we can get rid of Ahsoka. Come on. Stop stalling the fight longer than need to be. Negotiator, just... Uh, that's basic. For a 66. At least we can use Executor versus Malevolence now, which is safer. Okay, so I think this is a fight I don't think I've ever done before, so I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I guess we just go all in on Sunfac or High End Bomber, I don't really know. High End Bomber is a good source of Volt Droid, so we'll go after him first. I don't want to go after the normal Volt Droid just so I don't want to trigger any bonus turn meter to the capital ship. Okay. At least that's the contract triggered already. Call in Slave One. Damn, that's a lucky taunt. Please. Wow. <laughs> Damn you, AI. Alright, I think we're doing a cleanse because Boba's taunting anyway. Uh, let's go after the spy now. I can't believe they actually killed off Razorcrest. It's nuts. He's not doing so much damage. Alright. Uh oh. No, no, no. Ooh. Oh. Um. You know what? I'm not even going to hold. I'm going to heal up Boba because that give me more banners and I can do a bomb with Boba and that should kill everyone. That'd be 70 banners, so I'll take that. Very good. And that is at the end of the Grand Arena. So that gives us a final score of 1776, which isn't too bad. Um, I guess you know what we had to face. A bit annoying that we had to drop those fights on JMK and LV, but especially against LV, it's kind of expected. The JMK was just annoying um, with C getting the ability blocked right at the beginning, and I just wasn't expecting my guys to die so quickly. And my whole um, reasoning behind Sav uh, Savage losing his resilient defense didn't work out because he didn't even get targeted anyway. But um, I'm quite pleased with that. I think we have won the fights, but I'll have to come back later and check to see whether my opponent got any further. So I will catch you in a bit. So we're back later on and my opponent hasn't uh, continued attacking, which is obviously good for me because that is a, a nice win to start off the second week. And I did check my opponent's uh, score on Hot Util to see whether they could actually beat me if they did full clear. And if they maximized all banners across everywhere, they would have got 1781, I believe. So that was only a five banner uh, difference, which is pretty much impossible because max banners on fleets is super difficult. And I very much doubt that any of these teams I had in the South were uh, a 68 or 69 banner team. And uh, obviously you're not really gonna sell or anything against Malchus, even though that is a second attempt. But yeah, that is, it was always nice to start off with a win. Uh, especially in this day and age with Datacrons ruining things. But as always, if you have enjoyed the video, like and comment is much appreciated. And make sure to hit that sub button if you would like to see more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos. And I shall catch you in the next one.